Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you the lock screen widgets expos module. Now with this module, you'll be able to add lock screen widgets, just like you did in KitKat, but instead of being paged, they are going to be appearing right where the normal lock screen clock widget is. But you will be able to add any widget that could be added to your home screen, so you will get that full functionality as well. We're going to be doing this by using an Expose module, so you will need to have a rooted device with the Expose framework already installed. And if, once you already have that, open up Expose Installer, go to the download section and search for Lock Screen Widgets. It is on the official repo, so you will be able to find it just by searching. Once you have it brought up, hit the Versions tab and then click Download. Once it finishes downloading, reboot your device by either clicking the activate and reboot option that appears in the notification that you receive or by going to the module section from the expose installer main screen ticking the box next to to the lock screen widgets module and then rebooting your device manually now that your device is rebooted you go ahead and open up the lock screen widgets app and you can see here that you have a few options to get started the first thing that I want to do is make sure to get rid of all the UI elements of the lock screen that you no longer need. So if you're going to be using a custom clock, be sure to hide the clock. You can also hide the date, owner information, and that notification for your next alarm. And if you want the widgets to update automatically, you can enable that as well. Once you have those options selected, hit apply, and then you will go ahead and see those changes take effect from your lock screen. I'll go ahead and show you that now. You see here that I now have a completely blank lock screen. Now, in order to add a widget, all you have to do is hit the plus button at the bottom right, and then it'll give you a list of all the home screen widgets you have available on your Android. In this case, I'll go ahead and add the sound search widget, since that is one of my most used ones. And you can see here that it'll appear in the preview box on the bottom. If you want to change up the width, height, padding, or margins, or click reactions, all you have to do is hit the placeholder, and then you will see this width and height options you could select a custom width and height by selecting that option and then inputting a custom value but if not you go ahead and leave it at the default values and the bottom you do will hit the same with the margin and padding now with widgets like this that need to be activated by tapping them you should make them clickable so go ahead and enable that option and then change the click type either single or double or long and once you have your widget completely set up, tap the check box at the bottom, and then that's it. You're pretty much all set. You could check your lock screen to make sure that they appear, and if you tap it, you'll go ahead and see that it functions just as normal. All right, guys, you will do it for this video. For a full breakdown of the module along with download links, be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.